this figure here shows the uh, four flux barrier hyperbolic rotor structure developed based on coordinates. First and foremost, uh, we should get familiarized with the rotor design variables. Beta is used to uh, vary the rotor slot angle. And gamma here is used to vary the flux barrier angle. And the K is the actual variating parameter which affects gamma. And in order to calculate Q axis parameters, I use Riesa's thesis. So in, uh, according to the reference, uh, we can easily calculate the flux carrier and barrier width along Q axis. Then we can easily calculate those cross crossing points, cross point calculate uh, coordinates along the Q axis as shown here. Only the first two data points are shown for the simplicity. Once you calculate the first uh, uh, crossing point, if you know the if you define the first flux carrier uh, width along the d axis, we can easily calculate the uh, x and y coordinates at the at this point. Since we since we uh, wish to uh, vary the uh, flux barrier angle, we sh we can easily introduce a separate variable separate multiplier uh, for the uh, y coordinate here then we can easily change the uh, k parameter to obtain different angles different uh, gradients for this line so if uh, we set the k to a defined range we can easily calculate the y uh, x coordinate uh, using the basic trigonometric functions but one thing to note here is the first uh, flux barrier line along the q-axis is normal to the q-axis that's how you obtain the first coordinates here and then here once you know two coordinates along a line we can easily calculate the gradient now since it is purely based on a coordinate system we can easily define the origin as 0 0 and then calculate the uh, y-axis intersection which is uh, in my case I named as C for the first flux barrier line uh, along D axis. Now moving on to the next line since we already know the second crossing point also and if you uh, add another flux barrier width to the, uh, the uh, y axis coordinate here at this data point we can easily calculate the x point here and since we already know the uh, gradient from this line and we can calculate the uh, x and y coordinates here so one thing to note here again uh, is these data points of the upper uh, half of the rotor can be easily calculated because uh, these are the mirror coordinates uh, for example like this point coordinate is the exact mirror coordinate of this point and this point's coordinate is uh, uh, the exact mirror coordinate of uh, this point so for the simplicity so i have defined different variables in ansys uh, to define the line, line coordinates. coordinates for, for example, example the, the first line is already calculated and it's easy to implement in the ANSYS, but when you uh, move forward and calculate uh, different coordinates at uh, different flux lines the expressions will get more complicated so instead of uh, putting them uh, in the equations I define separate variables and uh, assign them uh, assign the uh, expressions to them so for example this point uh, this point x uh, coordinate and y coordinate is separately calculated and it is assigned to uh, x and y different variables d here denotes the d axis and for here it, it is d to x d to y here d 3 x d 3 y and only the two uh, the first two data points are shown for the simplicity and uh, thank you